Rail. And uh, on that occasion, he lifted 120 kilograms successfully on his first lift, then failed at 127 and 128. So uh, he knows he can do 120. He's coming in at 125. Dennis Raoul. His coach there is uh, Zenaida Job. straps on time ticking away one minute or two minutes on the clock each uh, lifter is allowed we oh, heard that one uh, the big stretch there really bolting him down to the bench so Dennis Royal from Moldova opening up at 125 Well, from this corner, it looked okay, and it was okay. Well, three out of three, so... Who makes his way up now. Back for his uh, second attempt, you see, 125 there. First attempt, second attempt, just pushed up. To 132. Didn't necessarily need to do that. His weight advantage means that uh, he only had to lift the same as Alderazi to come out on top. But uh, obviously, feels he's uh, got the power. Feels in control of the bar. He goes just uh, go on, getting those uh, hands in the right place. Nice and smooth, and coming up uh, smoothly as well. Just hanging on to the bar at the end. Unfortunately, something wasn't quite right. Two red lights. So he fails at 132. So those two are place. But this is where the action happens. Dennis Ryle making his way up onto the platform. The Moldovan will finish second in Group B. With that lift of 125 he made in the uh, first round. He failed at 132 in the second round and now going at 133 24 year old from Dubasari just settling himself Making sure that grip is good. The vocals. And the grimace, and he takes the strain. Oh, there's a little wobble in the uh, elbows as that comes up. But it's good enough. It's good, he gets the two white lights. Well, again, it's the <laughs> referee in my corner who... So maybe saw those wobbles and wasn't entirely convinced he gave him a red light but the other two saw it totally clean so nice way for uh, Dennis Raul to uh, finish off with a good lift at 133